Call the meeting to order. Don, you care to leave the yep. order for our session? Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, as we come to you tonight, Lord, with our humble hearts, just thanking you for the positions that we have and for everything, Lord, that you've blessed us with. And pray, Heavenly Father, that you be with Tabby's husband, Lord, tonight, and Glenda Sweeney and so many more around here. I don't want to, I can't call all her names, but Lord, you know them all. Just be with them and help them and heal them if it could be your will. Ask, Lord, as we go into this meeting, to just be with us and help us to make the right decisions that would please you and please our people, Lord. And, and we ask that you would just forgive us all where we fail you. We'll give you the praise for it all. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Second to cover all of what's on the agenda. Mom, make a motion. Seven. Second. And all in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Everybody. Item number three, reading of the minutes. Carla. The Hackleburg Town Council met in regular session on August 12, 2019. It's at 6.30 p.m. Mayor Colburn asked for a motion to call the meeting to order. Council Member Kevin Barwell made a motion and was seconded by Council Member Don Barwell. Pastor Josh Lynn from the Hackleburg Community Church led everyone in prayer and then the pledge was said by all. The attendance is listed below. Mayor Colburn stated that the meeting was open for the transaction of business. A motion was made by Council Member Don Barwell and seconded by Council Member Marbet to cover only the items on the agenda. Voting was as follows, all A's, no nays. Mayor Coburn wel welcomed everyone to the meeting and was pleased to have 95.5 WFMH radio in attendance. We usually have 49 County News with us as well <coughs> as, as a representative and a representative from the Journal Record Week are excited to have radio coverage tonight's meeting. The mayor asked the council to look over the minutes from the July 8, 2019 meeting. After reviewing, a motion was made by council member Don Warnell and seconded by council member Kevin Warnell to accept as presented. Voting was as follows, all A's, no A's. The mayor asked the, cl the, the clerk to read the minutes from the August 5, 2019 meeting. After reading, a motion was made by Council Member Wigginton and seconded by Council Member Kevin Barnwell to accept as presented. Voting was as follows, all A's, no nays. A financial statement was given to the mayor and council by the clerk to review. A motion was made by Council Member Wigginton and seconded by Council Member Marbet to accept as presented. Voting was as follows, all A's, no nays. The clerk presented a check register for the council to look over and approve. After reviewing, a motion was made by Council Member Marba and seconded by Council Member Lolly to pay all bills when due. Voting was as follows, all A's, no nays. Jessica Pruitt, business owner in Hackleburg, addressed the mayor and council. She is asking for use of the recreation center for the fall consignment that will take place in September and October and the holiday market in December. The consignment sale in the spring was a big success and brought people in from all over Northwest Alabama, and the holiday market was a big success. The council wanted to check the dates for the basketball practices so no issues would arise with that and asked Jessica to come back the next meeting to get everything in place. The mayor and council looked over an estimate from Gerald Hudson Contractors for the repair of the doors in the City Hall and Police Department. 
A motion was made by Council Member Lolly and seconded by Council Member Don Marvel to accept this estimate, being that it was considerably lower than the one we had received. The first estimate was from affordable lock service in the amount of $3,694. The estimate from Hudson is $1,450. Voting was as follows. All A's, no nays. The mayor and council discussed the proposal for the Hackleburg market. Town attorney Tony Quinn presented a lease purchase agreement for them to review. The mayor addressed his council and stated that the appraisal was being done but would take several days to complete. He also presented a proposal that would appease the questions over how the town would pay a monthly payment on a loan if the Bozeman brothers defaulted on their contract with the town. The proposal would take one half of one cent from the Hackleburg school tax for 10 years to put in a fund set aside to make the payments if needed. This would generate roughly $40,000 per year. Also, Council Member Don Marble suggested that we set aside $10,000 per year from the occupational tax fund for this as well. At the end of 10 years and the money was never needed, it would be given back to the school in full. Also, at the end of five years, the situation would be assessed to make sure all things were going well with both funds. Council members Lolly and Kevin Barmel stated that they wanted to review this agreement before they made a decision. Attorney Tony Glenn took the floor and strongly suggested that a decision be made tonight. Mayor Coburn asked, the council, asked council member Lolly to look over the agreement while comments and questions were being taken from the citizens in attendance. The citizens in attendance were eager to ask some questions and make comments about the situation. Attorney Tony Glenn advised them that under Robert's rule of order that our town abides by normally doesn't allow anyone to speak unless they are listed on the agenda. But this being special circumstances, it would be allowed in an orderly fashion. Several citizens spoke, giving their view on the matter, and some questions were posed to the mayor and council. Mr. Wally Kemp, owner of the Hackleburg Market, was in attendance. He was asked to make a statement. Mr. Kemp explained the, to the mayor and council and the citizens the reasoning behind his stepping back from the grocery store. He also addressed the large crowd in attendance and, thank, and thanked them for their business. Also, he spoke of the proposal on the table for the Bo Bozeman family and how it was a very good deal. After Mr. Kemp finished speaking, he received a standing ovation from all in attendance, including the mayor and council. The last item of business on the agenda was for a vote on the Hackleburg Market proposal. The mayor conveyed to the council that we needed to vote on this proposal, proposal in three parts. <coughs> one part, the town will amend the one cent school tax to take one half of one cent to place in a fund to itself for the term of 10 years in order to be able to make a loan payment for the grocery store in the event that the Bozeman family defaults on their contract. At the end of this term, no payment had been taken from the fund. The full amount will be transferred to Hackleburg Schools. An assessment will be made after five years. A motion was made by Council Member Marbot and seconded by Council Member Wigginton to move ahead with part one of the proposal. Voting was as follows, all A's, no nays. Part two, the town of Hackenberg will transfer $10,000 per year into a fund to itself for sole use of making payments to the loan for the Hackleburg market in the event that the Bozeman family defaults on their contract. As with part one, this will be assessed after five years. At any time this is deemed unnecessary, the money will be transferred back into the occupational tax fund. A motion was made by council member Don Marvel and seconded by council member Marbot to move ahead with part two of the proposal. Voting was as follows, all A's, no nays. Part three, the town of Hackleburg will borrow $650,000 pending the appraisal from People's Trust Bank for the term of 20 years 
at a rate of 4.35%. Being a balloon rate, this can go up after five years no more than 2% because this is a capped percentage. The attorney fees and the appraisal fees will be included in the law to the town and applied to the lease purchase agreement with the Bozeman family, which will be drawn up by town attorney, Tony Glenn. As with part one and part two, this will be assessed in five years to monitor progress. A motion was made by council member Marvin and seconded by council member Kevin Marmel to move ahead with part three of the proposal. Voting was as follows, all A's, no A's. There being no further business to come before the council, a motion was made by council member Marvin and seconded by council member Don Marmel to adjourn. All right, you've heard the reading of the minutes. Any corrections or questions? Did Tony get the, did you get the amendments done? Do what? Did you get the amendments done? No. I haven't. <coughs> part three of <I'm> that. <coughs> I believe that, you know, we said it'd be capped two percent. It could go up over two percent. It can't go up over two percent of crime is how that works. Right. That's okay. okay. The yeah. first five years yeah. it, it is capped at two yeah, and then whatever we prime at kind of yeah. over yeah. that. So yeah. You you wouldn't want somebody to get in here ten years down the road and think they've got yeah, room. Yeah, we wouldn't right. No, I think they go up. You also leave it up right there in that first line. I know you got it in there, but the money's going to come from the occupation. I know you said it would be put back in there, but. At any time it is deemed unnecessary, the money will be put, transferred back to the occupational fund. Yeah, right okay. here. It says the town of Hyper will transfer 10000 per year. It needs to be 10000 from the occupational fund. Okay. I mean, you know, you've got it, you're going to put it back in there, but like he said, that's just because they might, like I said, down the road, but well, they didn't say we're going to put it in our post phone, we'll take that general phone or whatever. That's just to clarify the word. Now, if, if that got to the point after five years or so and we could get a cheaper interest rate, we could borrow and, and uh, really refinance it. Yeah, because yeah, well, it's our loan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll be half a word if it's us or whoever they can, yeah. they can refinance it. Yeah. It may not go up. I mean, you just, no way of knowing. No. I think, I guess I'm thinking about it. It'll be a good idea, it'll be a good start is to, if the money that he had put back for expenses on the building, if that's going to revert back to town, and we've said it'd be roughly 12000 to put that in that fund to start out with. Should be about eighteen thousand. I think we need to just transfer that over and that's a good That'd place to good start. It is that way idea. that money yeah. you know, so I got to think we didn't think about it the other night. There's so much going on with I think that would be a good thing to do with it yeah. since it come from the store. Put it back in it. Carly's gonna open four new accounts. Um two two for gasoline tax, one for diesel, one for gasoline, and then She's got to open two, two accounts for these funds yeah. right here. Okay. Or more bank statements. <laughs> so we're coming Where up. Where would you put the 18? Which one? You would put it in the school one. Uh, I'm going to say put it one with our facial tax in. Yeah, because it's going to go back. back to the city. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. It's going to be in so. Yeah, with roughly 18,000, that'll be a good job. I mean, mm -hmm. you, know, you never yeah. know, that'd be four months right there yeah. off the bat, four yeah. and a half.
guess add it to part two to that amendment that the 18,000 that we have will be going into the occupational fund to start out. Tony, do we need to pass the ordinance on any one of them three? I don't think so. Did Eugene need to make a motion on that 18 or is it just good? Um, well, he just he had it as a correction and I told Carla that he should have put it in the professional fund. Did I ask that you name this one either? Yeah, we need it. Okay. Did we vote on it, no? Yeah. I thought we did. Well, I'll make a motion to transfer the 18 from. No, I'll second it. I don't know what that account would be called. Whatever it is, put, put it in the occupational side of our building fund. I'll just put in the minutes during the reading of the minutes. This correction needed to be made. Right. And it was voted on. Yeah. Will that be okay? That'll be fine. <laughs> Put that on old business again next meeting to make sure we have that covered. Yes. Let's make sure we get back over that part of it. Make sure it's officially on the agenda. Yeah. All right. Anything else on the minutes? We should have a copy of the appraisal on the content tomorrow. Yes. Just update everybody. He thought to him. It looked like it's going to come in. He said he thought it was. Matt figured it out. I mean, that was just, you know, looking at it, looking at the numbers. Right. So, when I talked to him the other day, all he, he said all I need to do is put the numbers together. He, he was through in the building. Yeah, Which is obvious, I mean, the building property where it is for the contents. Yeah. That's what we was wasting, wasn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. I need a motion to accept the minutes. Motion. Second. Yes. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Everybody? <coughs> Item number four, pay the bills. First, Alan Cantrell, what's that for? Was that for his? That's for their, um, no, I don't know how many months that's a, actually. Oh, okay, I thought it's that their, was... No, it's for their regular, you know, monthly thing they do. Okay. It's for several months. All right, I thought that might have been just for a consultant fee no. the other night. No. That insurance, that might, that's my giving. Yes. He saved us a bunch of money, did he? Yeah, that's their payment. What about bank court? Is that that last vehicle? That's um, the third vehicle I'm paying off. 34. Uh huh. I don't know. Now, is that all of them? No, I have one more. And I looked back after Tabby made the statement the other night, and I knew I had money left in that account. The reason I didn't see it, the auditor had done an adjustment and moved the money into another payment account. So I went back and I had fifty-eight thousand some odd dollars. Let me see. Right. Was it new? Oh, and, uh, so I paid off one more. I sent them a check <coughs> Friday. That leaves us a balance of twenty-four thousand thirty-two dollars and thirty-one cents to make on the last vehicle. That's like lacking ten thousand dollars, a little over ten thousand dollars to have all of them paid off. 
So, you know, I thought that our fire sales was like 160 or something on our equipment, but. We had uh, 108,000. 6927, 3500, 3000 and a 45. So that was all of the sales that ended up being 166, 427, 46. I thought it was cool. And we've still got some stuff that we can move and make that up. I just need to get with Jeremy. So, okay. And then that way, you said it's like 10,000, correct? It's 10,000, three or 400. I'm not exactly sure. Because I think he said there was still quite a bit of stuff. Yeah. Uh, after this one, of course, the payoff will go down, and he's going to send me a, an email telling me what it is. I will have all, maybe about three or four, 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 four. And that will be, you all pay off. I'm basically good at it. I'm going to drain one of my little name table. Because what he told us, he'd give us a pretty good deal on any behalf. I'm going to pay you more. I'm out my drill with that for one. I know the last time we had one like except for back hoe tars or something. Wait, is that going to carry over from? Uh, I'm looking at the case. Yeah. yeah, that's one that was written that was uh, on there to pay from the last one. Okay. I wasn't sure how many was paid after that. That it wasn't on the last uh, uh -huh. check uh, payment review. So I just went and printed both of them. Yes, it helped with probably the diesel problem. Diesel fuel, yes. Oh, GR, I guess that's grocery store, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Hackerberg GR, 25, 712. Yes. That was um, cool. cool supplies, food and stuff. And uh, on the payment review, there is uh, an extreme fire and safety. That is uh, the checking of our extinguishers in all the buildings. <coughs> well, what about that ninety-five dollar demander? Mm -hmm. Someone's reimbursing mm -hmm. on a part he bought. Part he okay. had. On the other question I had, hold on. I know we talked about letting the fire department pick up their uh, invoice on their payment. Yeah. Do you think we could let them pick up that fifteen hundred dollar fire bill too a month? Yeah, they're going to have to. I thought that would, I've had some help in entering, so we'll have to get all that taken care I'd of. Be eighteen thousand one hundred eight dollars a year. We could put back general fund if they could pay that out of their tax money. I didn't know if it was already doing it or if that's something we could look at. I normally put it in the power, I mean yeah. the power in there and uh, oh, okay. paying yeah. their checks, but Mandy was helping me. That's fine. She probably wasn't paying attention. That's fine. I didn't then know. I did that. Yeah. I, did I didn't know if we had been doing it or if that's something we could do to save some money. And they found a truck behind her? That they were looking for? That's like, that's we've been paying her pound, the bill. Yeah. We have. So that'll help us. Yeah, that's what we're running right now. Yeah. 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 If it stays at that, I'll probably go up some in the winter outdoors. We, we pay their bill and pay them. Yeah. It's right at 16000 a year. Right at 16000 So that's going to have some so big time. We need to have Steve come in the next meeting. Okay. Yeah, about 34000 roughly. Understatement right there. But now, but that way, the tax ain't getting that one to fix them. That makes me years. That's not really the building, mate. That's 48,000. So, say that wouldn't be the building. Yeah. Well, we might have to back up on another, some other, you know. You never know, because this is stuff we never looked at. Well, you get it to the place, then we just mm -hmm. let it run for a few minutes yeah. and see what goes on in and half planes out. Yeah. All right, need a motion to pay the bills. Make a motion. Kevin. Second. Yep. You 
only county but in our city. Lord of our hired man and he told him he's gonna be down for four weeks. No, but what do you got in December? December's the holiday market. That's the vendor market where we do um, all the vendors come in in December. We had, I think we had 57 last year, which really pushed us to the max. So I backed it down to 50 this year to kind of give us a little bit more wiggle room. Um, but we've already got, I've got right at 22 vendors signed up already. So they're, they're pretty eager for this event. I knew I came up here last year and it was really good. Yeah, and it poured rain all day and it was, I mean, yeah. steady traffic. Rain so. and cold. Yeah, and it turned out, it turned out really good for everybody. I think, for the amount of time we had to put it together and... I couldn't afford to buy nothing, but I can't <laughs> I couldn't either. <laughs> that, that was a one weekend? Yeah, yeah, that in December is a one weekend from Friday to... But I'll have the keys back. We'll have it clean Sunday night. So she wouldn't be out any except for that Friday. That Friday, which was okay last year, I think, because I went in Thursday night marked off spots. So Friday morning, one of the two. Problem with it, I think. I if told Daryl too Tabby, something. I think she would have probably have said something that I try to every little event that you guys let me do, um, give back to the community. Um, I know them doors are in need of replacing. Them side doors, they're real hard to open. Um, I'll talk to Gerald and see, kind of as a thank you and a give back. Um, I I will replace them doors with something that you know, similar to what they are, but I just know they're very difficult opening and, yeah, you know, there's a padlock, so maybe if there was a real key, some kind of, something that looks a little bit nicer, you know, for if people are coming in and out, but I, would, I wouldn't care to do that this go around. I'm okay with it. I am. Make a motion. Darren makes a motion. Second. I say. Kevin. All I appreciate y'all. Thank you, Jason. Any opposed? No. Uh -huh. All right. Item number two, the Denson building update. Um, um, I spoke with. Go ahead. I, I, I spoke with Gerald just uh, <clears throat> this evening right before I came up here. And uh, <clears throat> he's been under the weather, from what I understand, and he's got, um, I think he's got several things going on, but I, he was in the hospital, and uh, he had spoke to Mr. Denson, I think he had explained to him what was going on, and from the way I, from what he told me, they're replacing, you know, the whole roof, they're fixing the whole roof and the metal roof and everything, and so, but I think that's what, you know, he was describing to me that he'd been just a little bit behind because he'd been in the hospital. And, I think he's had a couple of, uh, you know. Yeah, when I talked to him today, he was actually at the doctor's office. So, between that and the rain and the heat, yeah. it's kind of held him up a little. Yeah. It sounds like it's I mean, going to be nice when they do get it. Denson had not held him up or anything else. Yeah. Like that's that's a nice Yeah, that's good. All right, and the fireworks stand, I've tried calling the guy two or three times and hadn't been able to reach him. So I'll stay on him. Yeah, we'll get the Denson bailed and fixed. We'll need that. Go on, go on. <laughs> yeah, he told me there's possibly a one I'm not going to say. He said, told me that there was a business that I'm interested in it, but that might not transpired in any way. They got no comp girls on that. We'll see it, yeah. Very good. All right, and then item number four update. Well, it was actually the bed on the doors. And Gerald uh, said if he kept getting better that he would either be able to get to them at the end of this week or beginning of next week. Yeah. 
Business item number one, uh, we kind of went over it just to update everybody on the grocery store appraisal. Um, for the content, he he should have the appraisal ready for tomorrow. And uh, once I get a copy of it and find out what it comes in, I'll let all y'all know. And on the building. I, Maybe by the end of the week, you think? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I met with midweek the, next week. Yeah, I met with the attorney uh, last week, and he's supposed to have everything done by the end of the day today, and to me tomorrow. So we're we're on the right track. Yeah, it's moving along. Uh, so. Appraised when everything comes in, we get that voted on. What's the projected possible takeover date for them? You know, two weeks, well, three. Closing date, see. are they not talking about third, fourth, fifth, maybe somewhere in there? That's right. Uh, they well, they hope September, the third. September. Yeah. September 3rd. Okay. So as we close, they go on. <clears throat> yeah, the reason there there's several things we still right. got to make sure about, and we're checking all of that. Plus, we've got to go back over his contract, I guess, to make sure it's... Yeah, and the UCC ones, we, we, we're having to check the Tennessee UCC ones to make sure there isn't any filings up there. We don't think there is. Oh, we'll it check. is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There'll be a little bit of tweaking to the contract, but right. nothing, nothing changing our... No, what we no, what we've already voted on. We shouldn't change it on and what they've got to honor. So that being said, we're just gonna wait and turn right. next meeting and well the main, if they do come up with a closing date when they have to call a special call meeting just to <clears throat> right. The main resolution to get the deed changed over and all that kind of stuff. The main thing right now is the bank doing all their mm -hmm. uh, things. Right. Uh, the Bozemans were up Friday too, and they were they're very anxious. Right. And the bank, uh, um, Randy and them, I think they're going fast as they possibly can. They are. I mean, it's really moved. And yeah, they'll have to get all their paperwork done before then. Yes. And the Bozemans have to change over credit card machines, WIC, all that kind of stuff. So, and they're working on that kind of stuff now. That's good. As much as they, they can. Right. right. Yeah. On it. Right. Anything else on the. We don't need to do that with resolution tonight. Um, transfer from the deed to the high Yeah, we will. We'll get, yeah, we need to do that. Yeah, uh, to there. I thought we'd skip since we fall together. Yeah, we can. We'll go to item number three. Um, well, really, we just need to uh, make a motion tonight and eventually the next meeting we will have to pass the resolution right. okay. but tonight uh, a motion to proceed then a motion to proceed with the transfer of the deed of that property from the commercial development authority to the town of Hackleburg. so moved no one second there all in favor Everybody. <clears throat> All right. Who seconded? I'm sorry. Down here. Just trying to do that. And then the next meeting, we will need to pass the resolution. Yes. Yeah. All right. Back to item number two. Um, we're getting toward the end of mowing season, and. I think it'd be a good idea if we brought 
some inmates from the county jail and had them help us get everything weed eated, cleaned up, everything kind of just tidied up. Yeah, the storm shelter. We went up to help us get that safe down. It's a lot of little odd jobs that we have to use a little I like the motion to pick them up and use them for long as we need them. So we'll get all of our projects done. Did you mention who's going to supervise them, Chad? Or Chad, Steve, or Ronald? See, Ronald's done it for me, so he's used to it. Well, yeah, he's part time. Yeah. Probably be. Yeah. And make keep working. Yeah, yeah. That'll work. I'll second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you, Elise. I didn't even let them paint the thing, but I was you. Oh, well, yeah. Just a bit like that. Yeah, we'll call the company and get the right paint and enable. Save us all over again. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I made it. Rain it, go ahead and do that too. And I'll get everything done with eight before it gets cold. That'll save all that setback in the spring again. That's right. All you got to do is buy their lunch. So it don't cost anything. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Carlin paid for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that money yeah. she's making for football players, can't she? She's got to take more plates in on that. <laughs> that comes along, she won't even be around. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the set that we have to abide by the rules. <laughs> Okay. Item number four, I uh, need a motion to officially change the meeting time from 6 to 6.30. Aye. And that'll be for the rest of our term. Yeah, motion. Darren? Second? Yeah. Second. Yep. Eugene. All in favor? to adjourn. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com backslash 49 County News TV.